Oh, did I tell you? I didn't tell you guys. We found the narrator to the bright side videos and a bunch of other like the clickbait channels. Um, unfortunately, he is not a Fiverr narrator. He's actually a bit more professional than that. So I think it would probably cost a good amount of money to make a anti-Megalodon video with his voice. But maybe we fundraise for that in the future because it'd be very funny to make like a bright side style video with the same voice actor. But make it about like disproving the Megalodon. Why the sunfish is the king of evolution. I assume it's talking about the ocean sunfish. A lot and a lot and a lot of people have very negative opinions about the ocean sunfish. And you know what? I frankly, I blame Tirzu. Yes, Tirzu, that's right, I blame you. You have single-handedly stirred the minds of uh, millions of children into believing that the ocean sunfish is poorly adapted. I love the ocean sunfish. I think, and that's coming from someone who hates seahorses and hates pipefish and hate, thinks that they are terribly adapted. So it's not like I'm just biased in favor of all fish. I think ocean sunfish, as stupid as their strategy seems, I think they are actually well adapted. Let me just preface this video by saying that I was originally going to clown on this fish, but the more I looked into it, the more I realized that it was the most insane oh thing that I'd ever seen. <laughs> See? Even people who do actual research to try and figure out how they can make fun of the fish end up being like, oh shit, wait, maybe it's actually a good fish. This is the sunfish. Now, if you're anything like me, you might be thinking, Sun ain't right. right! To start, the sunfish is missing its caudal fin. You know, the one that fishes used to move. At some point in evolution, a functional, perfectly healthy fish decided to fuse its dorsal and anal fins together, creating a clavis instead of a fin on its rear end. As a result, the sunfish swims at a whopping 2 miles per hour, <laughs> making it the second I actually don't know what the advantage is. Why did, why did the fins fuse? I mean, not that there's like necessarily like a specific reason that everything happens with evolution. I mean, sometimes stuff just happens, but if there are multiple species and they're still surviving to this day, there's probably some sort no i don't think the reason is because it's funny or aesthetics even though you wow that is the worst way i've ever seen aesthetics spelled less energy usage but at that point why not just commit to being totally immobile i don't know it's interesting out of all five sunfish species alive today they all share one trait they're what the absolutely fuck is that? wait hold on a minute i know the first four I know Hoodwinker, Common, Sharptail, and Giant Sunfish. I have never seen this one before. This one looks so cool. I knew there were four. I did not know there was a fifth one. Well, maybe I knew there was a fifth one, but I didn't know what it looked like. That's cool. God damn. The skinny sunfish. He has to swim faster than two miles per hour. Come on. He definitely swims faster than two miles per hour. They're absolutely ginormous. This one? Now your typical sunfish, the Mola Mola, averages around 5.9 feet long. Imagine a typical sunfish, but instead of feeding it food, you fed it anabolic steroids. Now you have a sunfish that at its peak is 11 feet long and weighs <laughs> over 6,000 pounds, which is actually insane. You know what? Let's play a game. What weighs more, the Eiffel Tower or the sunfish? Obviously the Eiffel Tower. If you said the sunfish, you're dumb as hell. The Eiffel Tower weighs 22 <laughs> million pounds, you goof. Well, how did the sunfish get so big? Well, besides having the genetics to grow over 3 million times its birth weight. Damn, it's born fish... at less than a gram. Wait, I want, oh wait, I have seen baby. Have you guys ever seen larval ocean sunfish? Look it up if you haven't. They're like little spiky balls. They're so, so tiny. You gotta eat. Sunfish eat a diverse diet of small fish, crustaceans, and small fish babies. However, its favorite meal is a good old jellyfish salad. And you know the saying, you are what you eat? In this case, it's true. Sunfish are impressively brain dead. A 440 pound sunfish was found to have a brain weighing 0 0.01 pounds. For reference, <laughs> us humans that. have a brain that weighs three pounds, making our brain 300 times heavier. But if you're still having trouble visualizing it, you can reference this Reddit post, which says that it's the size of three human testicles. <laughs> I don't even think it's true, it's closer to 0 0.3. <clears throat> Anyways, the sunfish have a peculiar way of eating due to their teeth. The four teeth in the mouth work together to That's create a, a beak, image. which they use to break things apart. When developing as a small fingerling, many fishes can eat them, such as the tuna. But as an adult, it's only prey to sharks, killer whales, and sea lions. But man, these sea lions are the definition of evil. 
Just look at their cute puppy eyes. Yeah, because they apart. Because the flesh isn't like they, yeah, they can be prey to killer whales and sharks and sea lions, but they don't typically want to eat them. Because, yeah, and parasites, true. But they don't typically want to eat them because their flesh is so non nutritious. They just took the craziest route in evolution. It's so sick. They have no brain whatsoever, no functioning fins, and no, like, no flesh that properly works. I mean, they are like seahorses are like so poorly adapted that they suck. Poggers. Sunfish are like so bad that they're actually kind of good, you know? If you're so bad that nothing wants to interact with you, actually kind of a good thing. While most predators, you know, eat their prey, sea lions have a different idea. Hey, why don't we just take a bite out the sunfish and run away? <laughs> as if it's going to go chase the after them. <laughs> These fools clip off the fins and use them as underwater frisbees, bro. <laughs> I didn't what know that. What the? Now it's time. Wait, they bite off the fins and play with them? That's a dolphin type of thing. I did not know that sea lions would do that. For will <laughs> it survive? Um, I think it's gonna make it. I mean, if this guy made it. Oh, oh, wait, hold, hold on. Let me, let me check with the experts for this one. Joke's on the seal though, because the sunfish can lay up to 300 million eggs at one time. And in case that didn't impress you, they do this several times. Besides sea lions, the sunfish have- That's a lot of fish though. 300 million is still a lot, but a lot of fish lay a lot of eggs. And more than half don't end up getting fertilized. And then the actual survival rate of the babies is like less than 1%. For most, some fish are like, they lay smaller clutches, clutches and protect them. But most fish are just like, Make as many egg and sperm as possible to create most baby have possible. have another mortal enemy. <clears throat> parasites. Even with a protective mucus layer, sunfish manage to have up to 40 to 50 species of parasites on their body at any given time. Gotta give them some credit though, cause even with a 0.3 testicle sized brain, sunfish actually came up with a smart solution for these things. They've been recorded lining up, literally, at kelp beds to get cleaned off by blue perches. But for the really nasty parasites, they come up to the surface of the water and serve seagulls a pan en parasite. One unique behavior that sunfishes have is that they'll sometimes jump out of the water. And as expected, it looks like a toddler on a trampoline. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they swim vertically? Why did they jump out of the water horizontally? He barely got out of the water. I've never seen a mola mola jump, that's funny. Scientists speculate that this goofy maneuver is actually a way of getting rid of parasites. Now, there are a lot of instances where sunfish have interacted with humans, but most of these interactions end up either in sunfish sushi or tax payments. The final thing I'm going to cover is the most scientific, but in my opinion, is also the coolest part about the sunfish. Normally, bony fishes, a class of fish with, well, bones. What the fuck is going on here? What is this? <laughs> I just need to point, I understand he drew this and I understand he's not a fish expert, but okay, you know, you've got the dorsal fin, you've got the <laughs> pectoral fin, pelvic fin, caudal fin. What is this, what is, what is this here? Penis? That's the only thing it could be. Side fin? His anal fin is just coming out of the side of his body. Have a unique organ called the swim bladder. This organ is vital in keeping bony fish buoyant. Otherwise, they sink straight down due to being too dense. There are plenty of other benefits to this organ that I won't get into, but yeah, point is is that it's pretty important. Of course, since this organ is useful and perfectly fine the way it is, Sunfish decided to get rid of them entirely. Instead, but it works just like any them. other rational animal, they develop the gelatinous tissue under the skin that perfectly offsets the density of their bones and organs. Cause that's just easier than having a swim bladder. It is. I mean, it's rule. harder to evolve to, I guess, but in the end, it is much easier because you don't have an organ that can fail. I mean, like, a, a constant layer around your body is much less susceptible. Like, say if seals take chunks out of you, if a seal takes your swim bladder out and you're a normal fish, you're screwed. But if a seal takes some amount of your mucus out, who cares? It is a, it's, you've cr taken a weak point and made it a non-weak point. It's like if our heart or our lungs were around our entire body, right? It's like, oh, you could puncture any given part of it, but it's okay because the entire rest of the body is still functioning. No matter the depth, sunfish maintain a neutral buoyancy equal to that of water, contributing to their ability to dive pretty far down. For reference, this is the water column. 
sunfish have been observed to dive 2,600 feet deep, meaning they're far into the twilight zone. A pretty impressive feat for a fish that flaps to swim. Now, it definitely gets cold down there, and since sunfish are cold-blooded, they often float to the surface to reheat themselves with the sun. And that right there is why they're called the sunfish. Oh. <clears throat> I didn't know that, and I don't think that's true, because then why are sunfish the freshwater kind called sunfish? Interesting, though. Very good video on ocean sunfish. I like facts and support of the creature that I think is... I think ocean sunfish are good. They're the bats of the ocean. I think bats are much more well adapted and intelligent. Ocean sunfish are a prime example of so bad that it's good. I thought they were called that because the babies looked like suns. The babies look like suns. Whoa!